everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieved this gaudy black christmas design um i yeah it's gaudy i know it <laughs> but if you have watched my live you see me do the solid plaid hand um so always um do alerts for lives because i'm going live more and more so the um hands you see on the left or on the top or technically my right hand i did on live and um so check out those previous videos they are long they are lengthy um but i answer questions and we talk we talk about things that have nothing to do with nails <laughs> but um but as i promised a little later than i promised I will show you the very detailed hand with the reindeer and everything like that. So I am using the Gel X um, nail extensions in the extra, extra, extra long. Um, if you don't know what Gel X, the Opera Gel X system, these are not plastic tips. They are made out of gel. Um, I have, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I'm using this as a quote unquote press on i do not make press ons for sale i did that before it was not for me didn't make sense time wise financially the heartache and pain people people do it absolutely but it just wasn't for tabitha so please i'm not making them to sell um yeah so i'm fitting them to the fingers now if you watch me on live you know that i did the ones for my right hand i am right-handed but i did the ones for my right hand on my left hand i sized them to my right hand but put them on my left hand like only like one nail is like a different size but um i did that in order for me to draw i don't like using those little stands i haven't been able to make it work for me it's easier for the most part for me to do it on nail art on my real hand so that's what I'm doing and I'm using these um, glue tabs they are from daily charm and you can use code tab with the 10 to get a discount on everything daily charm there's gonna be so much daily charm in this video just you know before one and the link to daily charm will be in the description bar um, I do of course obviously receive some commission from it if they have a better sale going on than the 10% I can offer you, if you still click the link below because it's tied to my name, I will still get some, you know, a little kickback if you want to support, you know, your YouTube nail tech tutorial lady person. <laughs> so I showed y'all my drawing. I had sketched out this idea in my head because I received these decals from Daily Charm and I really liked them, the gold kind of dainty charms. I mean charms decals and then i had these charms as well they're swarovski um made charms i love these little reindeer aren't they so cute i'm not even at christmas stuff like that very much um and these little bows the bows aren't really my thing but they went so cute with the reindeer and they had gold the i like the the gold and so it essentially buying these things without a specific design in mind made me want to do this look but I wanted to keep it dark and black so I thought black red gold would be a cute Christmas thing <laughs> so these are black Christmas nails um so I wiped these tips down with acetone and if you're familiar with the gel -X system you know that they recommend do that recommend doing that or you can buff them as well um what the acetone does because these are gel it kind of dissolves the very surface of the layer and um it's it makes it where it can the gel polish can hold on to it better again you can also buff it in order to achieve that so i'm using black and it's in the blacks black again if you didn't hear me talking about it on live i have postponed in the black coming out um this year i was going to do it black friday but it just didn't seem right or feel right just because of what's going on in the world like a it, it just didn't feel right but i went into more detail in the live video that's why you gotta get your notifications for lives and come, and come in come through we talk about a whole bunch of things um so i'm trying this design again i drew it on my little paper and i wanted to do what is this called oh argyle <laughs> an argyle pattern and i didn't see 
a tutorial or anything on it um i was just kind of winging it and i thought this would be the best way but it was not so i wiped it off it, it wasn't turning out and i was like this is a geometric thing i need to start with some angles or some point of reference so i drew a line straight down the middle and was still going about it kind of the same way just drawing these crisscrosses to make diamonds and um that wasn't really working out either it's just because i was swinging them too wide and i'm like oh tabitha you think about it it's geometry what should you do and so i realized at some point like just draw the lines fully at a diagonal so you'll see me pull it all the way from the left top side to the bottom right and you see me following through and I'm like, duh. <laughs> so basically, I'm drawing diagonal lines to follow these this diamond type shape and just crisscrossing them. And that's all we're doing. And then filling in every other diamond shape, which technically, if you turn this another way, it would be a square. So we're basically like making a checkerboard shape, but at an angle. So they appear to be diamonds or diamond shaped. <laughs> so... You see how simple that become became. <laughs> and I was using um Perfect Red from Madam Glam. And you can use code tabs to get 30% off there. Uh, but then for filling it in, I didn't the pigmentation, it's beautifully pigmented, don't get it don't get me wrong, but this is also black. You know what I mean? So eventually I pull out the wildflowers, um, painting gels and i uh, use those i had completely forgot i had them and as you can tell i'm using the poochie's details brush detail brush detailing brush <laughs> and if y'all been here a while you know i've been using the wildflowers forever but i poochie sent me this a long time ago i had never used it and i was like let me try it i didn't get a good shot of this box but it's the wildflowers um painting artist gel paint set and that's, again, the one I told you I use. So I am curing this in between layers. Just so you know, I'm always, like, when I'm doing art, going back and forth and curing things when I get them set to how I like it. I go ahead and cure it. So um, I want to fill in these diamonds, of course, because that's what the design is. <laughs> and... um I, I'm using this little like square shape brush you can see that orange brush and that's also from wildflowers nails and it did a great job for this design if you um watched me on my live create the plaid design or tartan I don't know which I don't know what it is but the design on the other hand I don't show you in this video um I used that brush and it was really the perfect brush to use for that design so um it's really a little useful brush and i think it's like burnt the burnt orange brush i don't know what it's called i got the whole brush little kit from wildflowers so i have a lot of their different brushes so i'm just going back in with this design and i'm doing those angles and i'm kind of laying that color down and you'll see i laid it down and i'm kind of pulling it in and so it was kind of tedious i was just filling in these diamond shapes that's essentially what it all amounted to um and then i felt like the red was just too bright and especially with the plaid there was that sheer kind of black um and the dimmy it wasn't sheer black it was like a the red we made the red sheer so you could kind of see the black through it. That's what I'm trying to say. And I was like, man, I really want these hands to like be different, but kind of go with each other. So I took black and mixed it with clear and sheared out every other diamond. And I, I didn't shear it out. I dulled it out. Essentially, I covered it with that sheer black. That's what I'm trying to say. Get it together, Tabitha. So now every other diamond is a um, sheer i'm trying to use sheer out y'all know what i'm trying to say it's covered with that sheer black so it's kind of dimmed down y'all 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 will tell me the word in the comments and i'll feel stupid <laughs> um so i'm going in with the wildflowers gold um paint gel 
and I'm just drawing these details and it took me a second and my love was in the room and we decided that that looked good having them at those cross points in the diamond shape and then I just top coated it for now in order to move on to my next finger these nails took me so long to do I'm glad that I didn't build them so glad <laughs> um yeah it, it yeah I had to use these tips but honestly these are so very long but I also love them look at the like profile of them they have a beautiful apex on them it's they're really nice if you can handle nails that long I cannot so I thought on my little picture I was going to do another design right here for this finger I originally tried to do like a knitted sweater design with like 3d like a braided knitted sweater I know how to do one with like how you draw with the wet gel and blah 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 it was a whole different thing and I tried to do this design but that did not work so I just took that nail off and decided to use my little decals or decals <laughs> and so I wanted to um I decided that I wanted to do a little like snowflake ornament kind of falling down the nail just something cute that still went with a the theme I didn't want it to be like crazy because I knew I was going to go crazier on the middle finger and of course the ring finger so the pointer and the pinky just kind of um I kept it a little more simple but still very much within theme and using those decals so I knew that I wanted to do the argyle on the middle finger as well and I wanted to do it a French in retrospect I don't know I I liked it but I it's probably my own fault because I put all the crystals on there in the bow so it kind of took away from it a little bit and I wish the argyle was like on another like one of the main four fingers y'all know I do not care for thumbs like that and I think the argyle came out really cute to not display it on a full nail but then I didn't know which nail to do it on I don't know I'm still in a dilemma after post doing the nails so I'm essentially doing the same thing that I did on the thumb just as a French I started with a V French because that played into the argyle design with those same angles and I just followed it through as you could see and I'm doing the same thing I'm sharing out every other um, little triangle to not sheer out y'all know what I'm trying to say I'm putting that sheer black on top of it to dim it out and then I'm making sure that the um, other ones are bold and then I'm doing um, and I'm also curing in between doing these different steps and I'm adding the gold glitter line. Now, again, if you watch my live, you knew that I use that gold chrome instead. And that kind of comes back and bites me. At first, I'm like, oh, they don't look that different. And it wasn't that bad. But the gold chrome using it, it just seems so tedious just because of the process in which I had to use it on the plaid hand. It seemed real tedious to use it on this just because this was already taking me time. Okay. It, this is very sped up, but the hours and hours and hours I put into this is not portrayed in this less than 30 minute video at all. So I was going to keep a harsh red like line to define the French, but I decided that that I didn't think that looked good. So as soon as I add this black to kind of blur it out, I think it looks so much better. It just made it like a cute and I wish I kind of want to do like a set just that, but I'm not going to. But, you know, you should do it and tag me in it so I can see it be done. So I'm using these decals again and I'm just using these kind of garland looking ones. And I thought it would be I was I was just kind of winging it in a way. <laughs> so I had to cut a little piece from one of these hanging down things. It's supposed to look like an ornament and I put it on one of the snowflakes I'm just making up stuff and I thought it turned out pretty cute I don't know what it really means or what it really is but I thought it was pretty cute <laughs> so I'm top coating that make sure you press those down really smooth so there's no air in those before you top coat on one of them um, on the pointer finger I didn't do that all the way that's not an issue with the decals just me 
So I'm using um, clear Swarovski crystals in multiple sizes. I'm using some light. Somebody told me it's Siam. Siam or Siam? I think they told me it was Siam. The red ones, <laughs> the red Swarovskis and Aurum, which are these gold ones. And I'm using gold beads, micro beads, bullion beads. Um, I'm using a million of those. I need to buy somewhere. I'm almost out. Those, those red ones. So those are the colors that we're sticking to with this set. And then you can use the Stay Put gel, Jelly Jewelry Gel in the Tube. That's from Daily Charm. And um, do not use this in real life. But because these are press-ons, I use this to um, stick these bigger charms on. Now, originally, I was going to do the reindeer where that bow is on my middle finger. That's what I was going to do. But for some reason, I felt like the bow went with the argyle. We don't know why we think that. But we do. <laughs> it just seemed like a, I don't know, like if the argyle was like a, um, what's it called? Wrapping paper and the bow is on the wrapping. I don't, I don't know. In my brain, it made more sense than the reindeer going there. And that the reindeer should be on its own separate nail with some bling around it at this point I, I kind of am only loosely referring to the drawing that I did um and just seeing what feels good so you see me buffing the nail they're all top coated and I'm buffing them in order to um have some better adhesion you see I didn't do it heavily but um if you're doing this in real life on a client or yourself buff it a little more um you don't want to buff off your design but especially where the crystals are going to go just to ensure an adhesion so i put a little bit of that um gorilla glue gel on there again it's fine for press-ons um we'll debate about natural nails i wouldn't really recommend but i really think that's it's not touching the nail and i really think that's because when you file it off um it could not that nail glue is safe for your lungs but i think that's a whole different thing when you file it off um and stuff but again that's a whole nother conversation so i wanted to add some bling to like all the fingers but not the whole bunch so i decided it would be cute to kind of go with like the garland and put crystals and the micro beads and that did turn out pretty cute to me real simple I tried putting a red piece in there and I didn't think it looked cute. So, yeah. So, I um once the glue dried on the reindeer, you see I'm sealing around it with that crystal gel. That's how I would normally put on a 3D charm or stone for it to last. Make sure you fill in all those edges all the way around. Again, I'm a little bit more lax because this is a press-on set, but I also want to show you guys how I would do it. <laughs> so, make sure you seal all around that. So, you need a chemical adhesion, which is your resin or nail glue, or I would probably in real life use the Crystal Katana um, Crystal Ninja glue underneath, uh, but I didn't want to waste it because you have to bring out a whole syringe and you can't use it again, blah, blah, blah. So I just use the Gorilla Glue. That's why. But on a client, I would do that, make sure it dried and seal around that thing completely with crystal um, gel and then cure that because you want to make sure there's no harsh edges and creases that hair can get caught in fabric or it can just get caught on things and come off easier we don't want that so um i decided on this finger that i thought it was cute to put the crystals down the middle and i originally wasn't going to add red stones but then i felt like it was kind of out of play i feel like i just need to tie it in more with the the bow and the reindeer so i made some decisions like i replaced to add one little red stone while i'm doing the line down the center of that nail and see look i tried i hated that i tried that and i hated that so i took all the nails off because i had to cook and i thought i was gonna go to sleep but i didn't so i just put this nail back on and I'm going to mat it out. There was a lot of trial and error before you. This looks like I easily knew that. Um, but I wasn't really sure what to do. And then I took the break and I was like, man, I think it would be kind of cute if I did a silhouette of a deer behind this deer. And I don't know why I thought that was cute. And I still do think it's cute. 
but also a part of me thinks it looks gaudy and weird (laughs) and a part of me thinks it's really cute I don't know tell me down below what you think so I'm drawing a silhouette and I looked I googled like a deer silhouette a reindeer silhouette sorry and got one like facing the front so if you can hopefully you can tell right you can tell it's a silhouette of a reindeer kind of facing forward matter of fact let me put a picture okay so something this isn't the exact picture i used or of course not exactly like this but you see what i'm trying to say like like this is what i'm thinking i don't know why but that's what i'm going for so i'm essentially making the matte black that silhouette and doing a negative of that and gonna fill the rest with crystals in my head i mean that's what i actually did but at this point i wasn't sure if this was work gonna work so i was prepared to wipe it off before i cured it and i kind of still even after i cured it i wasn't sure about it and i'm still not but i'm just using that gold uh from wildflowers and i'm just filling in all that space and i'm doing that because i'm going to put the stones and that's going to make it look more complete and full when you're doing something you want to look solid with bling put a matching a coordinating color or glitter i originally did the bottom a different way and i decided to swoop it down i thought that looked better and at this point i'm like man this is i know it kind of looks weird but i also kind of like it so I did a time lapse of this, so it's moving too fast. But I'm just filling this in. You you don't even need to see this for long. I'm filling it in with micro beads and crystals. That's that's all I'm doing. Is I am. That's that's it. <laughs> um, and I'm trying to. At first, I was kind of gonna do it random, but then I decided I wanted to make it um, kind of symmetrical. And I think that I thought that kind of looked better to do it that way it looked nicer kind of more regal and at some point man i was using so many micro beads i was just dumping them on there you see i pinched some and picked them up and just dropped them on there and um yeah this nail is heavy because of all these metal beads on there it's it's a heavy nail (laughs) so i put them where i wanted them and cured it of course and again i am kind of mad at myself for editing this so it seemed real simple it didn't take a long time but this is not supposed to be tedious for you to watch that much so in real life i put a little some text saying you would seal around your crystals and over your beads with clear top coat before adding the mat i didn't do this because this is a press on design demonstration okay so but again in real life go over those beads with top coat and around those stones and that will help ensure that the beads keep their color and that the stones they're all sealed in and won't catch on hair and stuff so i felt like this needed a red stone up top (laughs) and so i had to dig that gold one out and um i kind of popped off one of the beads but i did that i thought it looked way better with just those little hints of red um in the top in the reindeer's nose and then i added a little bloop bloop in the bottom of that nail so now i am just going in and adding the matte top coat i'm just going around the stones again seal over the beads and around the stones first with shiny top coat do that first cure that and then go around the beads and the crystals with matte don't go over the beads with matte it will make them matte frost them out unless that's a look you're going for never tried it but hey but do that first so you can ensure that your beads and stones are sealed in and will last and won't catch on to fabric and hair and etc do that first and then do the matte if you're gonna go matte i charge extra for matte just because matte with stones just because it does include an extra step extra step to ensure that they last and don't catch and wear very well so yeah and you see at the beginning of the video i didn't even speak on it i just did the what i would charge for these nails if i did them in real life and they would be 224 dollars and that is before 
pandemic pricing. Oh, look, these little charms I was going to use. I don't know where I got them from. I got them from years ago. And I thought, oh, these might look cute. But they stuck out too much, as you could see. And so, y'all know I do the bead designs all all day, always. Um, and it kind of gives it that same essential look. Like there were diamonds kind of prong set in. Um, it, like with the metal. So, I was just doing it to see if it would be cute. But... It, it was too chunky. Not that I was going to wear these in real life, but it just seemed too extra. And also it was just on the thumb. Didn't make sense. So I'm just adding crystals. You can see I added them to the pointer finger and I just added them scattered in between those kind of snowflakes. I just wanted to look kind of like it was, I don't even know because it looks like ornaments and it goes to snowflakes. It doesn't really make sense. <laughs> And then I also felt like I wanted some red stones on the pinky. So I just filled in the middle of those snowflakes with crystals. Again, doesn't really make sense, but that's what we did. And I still think it came out cute, even though it doesn't make much sense. <laughs> and so I am looking and seeing, do I feel like this is enough? I really think it was looking cute. And this is the plaid hand. Excuse my hands. Don't, don't. They're ashy. They're dry. They're tore up. Just delete your comment or go back down there and delete it if you already posted it. So I was looking at it with my other hand, my plaid hand I had did previously. And I felt like, man, they don't really go. And it's because I used that gold chrome on the plaid hand and just that gold glitter gel from Wildflowers on the gaudy hand. <laughs> and so I decided I needed to add the red stones because there was no red stones on that hand. And the red stones, I felt like, made a difference. Red stones stand out so much. And then I also traced over the gold, you'll see on the left side, with the wildflowers gold. Because it had a little bit of a different tone and a different kind of sparkle. And then I, that's it. As you can see, I added a good amount of red stones to that plaid hand. But I think it really made them tie in with each other. And I'm glad I went over that gold as well and I really think it made the gold coordinate and this became I mean of course they're not matching hands but I think they're cute coordinating hands that's just me um so this is the final look I hope if you're not going to do this exact design maybe not hopefully not hopefully you don't do this design <laughs> um because it took me so much time but maybe if you try to tag me or if you take some elements or you just you learn some technique um with this design or it inspires you to do something else tag me or let me know down below um i really appreciate you guys watching and being patient again put your alerts on i'll be going live more often um i have some other designs in mind that are not going to take as long and not two hands um that two-handed design just took me much longer to coordinate both hands and everything like that and they are very 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 long nails it was hard for me to take these pictures like my hands were so afflicted and again excuse my hands they're not model hands but you guys want videos these are the hands that i have okay <laughs> so watch that um plaid video again it's live speed it up watch it on you know two times fast whatever get out of it what you want but definitely there is a video for that. It's just a live video. It's actually broken down, I think, in two parts as well. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up. Be kind to your neighbor. Wear a mask. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.